we will talk about prebiotics and probiotics. Prebiotics are food components, usually components of vegetables and fruits, and they are usually dietary fibers. And these dietary fibers have lots of health benefits. That's why we call them prebiotics or before life. And second is probiotics. Probiotics from Latin means for life and they, they actually are live organisms. They are bacteria and fungi and they have health benefits for our body. If we eat these uh, live organisms, we get health benefits. That's why we call them friendly bacteria or good bacteria. Even some of them are fungi, not bacteria, we still call them bacteria in daily life. Most prominent and most classical example of prebiotics are bananas, apple and oat, especially oat because it contains soluble fiber, which is very interesting because uh, it becomes gel-like structure in the um, stomach and it uh, causes sense of fullness and it's, it helps for weight loss and it's important. And classical example of probiotics is yogurt, uh, kefir and pickles and fermented dairy products. Now let's say what we know, what we know for sure about probiotics and prebiotics, what we know based on evidences. Uh, if you want to imagine more clear prebiotics and probiotics, you can think about fertilizer and plants. Fertilizer is prebiotics and plants or live organisms itself are probiotics. Now let's say about evidences for probiotics. First and most evidenced effect of probiotics is restore normal flora. They restore gut normal flora. And that's why they are recommended in case of diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome and constipation. So they are effective treatment of diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome and constipation. We have enough evidences to say this, that they have clear effect against diarrhea and IBS symptoms, it's very important. Another important effect and very prominent effect of probiotics is improved immune system function. What it means, we have many studies and already multiple studies confirmed that people who regularly intake probiotics, they have less common cold. The common cold cases is decreased around 70% compared to the people who don't intake probiotics regularly. And why it happens, it has several explanations but most important is it stimulates immune system, probiotics stimulate immune system, stimulates synthesis of lymphocytes and neutrophils, and they improve protection against infections. Also pro uh, probiotics increase barrier function of gut because probiotics releases mucus itself and helps layer protect, uh, protection of barrier function of gut physically. Also, they release antibacterial components and its additional protection, but very important and most important is stimulation of immune system, which is uh, stimulation of lymphocytes and neutrophils. So probiotics have two main action restore normal flora and immune system, uh, improve immune system. 
They have also other functions, uh, including they decrease inflammation in the body, improve cognition, and many other benefits. But most, uh, most evidenced and most studied are the action against diarrhea, IBS, and constipation, and improved immune system function. Now let's say that if prebiotics are same, yes, mostly prebiotics are same because prebiotics are fertilizer for probiotics, so uh, their action and their health benefits usually same, but prebiotics have additional important benefit, which is weight loss. For weight loss, prebiotics more effective than probiotics, and why it happens? Because when um, bacteria eat prebiotics, and as we know, they are food for uh, for bacteria in the gut. When bacteria eating these prebiotics, they produce short chain fatty acids, and these short chain fatty acids have several benefits on body. First is they stimulate gut hormones like glucagon like peptide 1 and peptide gamma and they directly stimulate central nervous system and reduce appetite and increase sense of fullness so short chain fatty acids increase uh, increase sense of fullness and decrease appetite also, butyrate, which is also um, short-chain fatty acid, it converts white fat into brown fat. It's very important because white fat in our body is passive. It's just storage of energy. But brown fat burns energy. Brown, uh, brown fat is metabolically active. So it means when we have brown fat, it burns energy and it burns calories and generate heat. That's why conversion of white fat into brown fat is important and butyrate stimulates it. Butyrate also stimulates and express genes which helps fat burning. So butyrate is very important component. And a very important part of prebiotics also is prevent fat and glucose absorption. They decrease glucose and fat absorption around 15%. Why it happens? Because they bind glucose and fats and they don't allow our guts to absorb them. That's why they prevent this absorption. That's why they have anti-obesity characteristics and importantly help weight loss. Now let's say which are best prebiotics, best probiotics, and which food contains these best pre and probiotics. Inulin is considered most studied prebiotic and it has many health benefits, including anti-inflammatory action, immunostimulation, and um, decreased chronic disease risk. And uh, banana contains inulin in high quant uh, quantity. So banana is important. Second well-studied prebiotics is fructooligosaccharides and Fruits contain fructooligosaccharides. Most fruits, a majority of fruits contain fructooligosaccharides. And the sweeter fruit, the more fructooligosaccharides it has because it contains fructose and fructooligosaccharides are, uh, are made of fructose. So apple, red apple especially, or raped, uh, raped cherry, raped grape, raped uh, watermelon, almost everything which contains uh, fructose 
contains also fructo oligosaccharides. So most uh, fruits contains fructo oligosaccharides and galacto oligosaccharides is another prebiotic uh, and dairy products contains fructo galacto oligosaccharides including um, including uh, milk and even human milk contains galacto oligosaccharides now let's say about best probiotics lactobacillus rhamnosus is most studied um, probiotic which has anti-diarrheal action it's effective when uh, there is diarrhea because of antibiotic treatment and yogurt kimchi kefir contains lactobacillus rhamnosus so yogurt is universal yogurt is universal source of best probiotics we can say it and kefir also saccharomyces boulardi is another pro, uh, probiotic but saccharomyces boulardi is not bacteria it's fungi and kefir fermented dairy products contain saccharomyces boulardi and bifidobacterium bifidum is another bacteria kefir yogurt and kimchi contains it and it's important to note that bifidobacterium bacteria is natural uh, gut bacteria in our body and it's one of the most first bacteria growth in infant's body so they are very important bifidobacterium bifidum kefir yogurt kimchi contains bifidobacterium bifidum that's all i wanted to say i think now it's clear difference between pro and prebiotics and for what they are best for immune system you need probiotics but for weight loss you need prebiotics for diarrhea you need probiotics for feeling of fullness you need prebiotics for uh, for increased bulk of fecum you need prebiotics for decreased risk of chronic disease you need both that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now